Warning, this video contains spoilers that reveal critical parts of the game's storyline. If you don't want to see these, stop watching now. If you like this video, please consider making a donation to the American Cancer Society. I've included a link to our fundraising team in the description field of this video. A little in abundance is a lot, so any amount would be greatly appreciated. Hello again my friends, Eric Pearson here, and today I'd like to demonstrate a new game called Battle Cruisers. This comes to us from Mechaweka Studios in New Zealand. And speaking of New Zealand, I'd like to give a shout out to some family that I have there. So to Hugh, Adele, Griffin, Tristan, Philippa, and Guinevere, please know that you remain in our thoughts and we hope you're doing well. I'd also like to give my thanks to an old friend of mine named Pacho Black, as he gifted me this game for my birthday recently. So Patchy, once again, thank you very much for your many years of friendship. Okay, that said, let's talk about this game. This game is set in a future that is dominated by robots who are every bit as flawed and irascible as the humans they replaced. And you play as Charlie, a lonely robot that happened to get his hands on a battle cruiser. So I'm going to demonstrate this game with the first level. Now, I've played through the whole campaign. It took me about eight hours to do it. And I have to say, it is a fun game. Even after you blow through the campaign, there's a skirmish mode that lets you experiment with a wide variety of ships and weapon systems. So let's start with the first mission. So here's Faye saying, Pirate, shut down your engines and submit for capture. And you, Charlie, say... Hey, little robot fella, this simulation is even more realistic than the last one. Now, we don't know if Charlie is joking or not, but who knows. One thing I have to say is that Charlie looks a little bit like a robot version of Homestar Runner. I mean, let's look at the evidence. He's got legs and no arms. It looks like he's got a bit of an underbite, as Homestar does, so who knows? Robot Homestar? Well, let's find out. Let the battle begin. Okay, so this is our ship. A Trident class, general purpose cruiser with faster build rates for all tactical buildings. And there are stats on the number of decks, platforms, utility points, masts, and general health. This game is very user friendly. You can click on a lot of things and learn more about them in real time as you're playing. Now, these buttons allow us to look at our ship, look at the uh, battlefield above, and look at the enemy ship. Now, this is the enemy ship, and this is a Raptor. This has a faster shield build and recharge rate. So, and looks like his utility drones are busy at work, which means we better get cracking ourselves. So, first we're going to build a couple of builder bays here, 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 and here. Now, the number of builders you have is this number here. We start with four, but the more builder bays we build, the more builders we have, which enable us to build other structures faster. So it is worth it to invest the time early on to get yourself a lot of builders. And it says here, the enemy is building a naval factory. Maybe build some ship turrets. Yep, see, already at work. Ready. Okay, so I'm going to take a moment and switch to our defense menu, and I'm going to put in a couple of mortars. And I can double-click to refocus the builder drones to concentrate on getting those, because what's going to happen is, see, they're already... He's already built a frigate, and the thing about frigates is... They can't be repelled with regular ship turrets. You have to use mortars. So hopefully we'll get at least one of these up and running before that ship shows up. See, he's already steaming at us. Okay, that's one. Let's see if we can get going on that one. And we're taking some damage. 
And of course, our health meters are up top. This is my ship, this is the enemy's. So I can scroll over here. He's taking damage. It's a good thing I got those mortars up and running. Now, I unlocked everything, so I have access to more weapons than you otherwise would if you're playing the game for the first time. But the game gives you enough resources that you stand a good chance of winning regardless. And as time goes on, you will unlock more and more. So it doesn't feel particularly grindy. And that's good, that's what adds to the fun. Okay. I think we had better access our shield menu. We're going to put a shield here and a booster here. Now, boosters boost shields and adjacent uh, weapon stations. So, there's a benefit paid by setting them up like this. Now let's see what he's up to. Oh, he's not wasting any time. If you look at this, and I click on this, this is a stealth generator. Once he finishes building that, the ship will be enveloped in a cloud of smoke that we can't see through. Unless we counter that by a, with a spy satellite. Oh good, we got shields up. Let's get that booster going. I have to chuckle at the voice of your drones. They remind me both of the robot from the movie Chappie and an old educational toy that was popular when I was a kid called 2XL. And yes, by saying that, I'm probably dating myself, and you know what? I don't care. Okay, so... Yep, see? Great big... Cl uh, cloud of smoke. So what I'm going to do is build a spy satellite. I'm going to build it here. I want to save this spot. No, I don't. I'll, let me demolish that one. The good news is you can unbuild units. I'm going to put another shield generator here. Shields can overlap to provide additional protection, and that comes in handy. Okay, so here we are. He's got a shield too, and now he's graduated up to sending destroyers at us. So we're probably going to have to up our game, the mortars may not be enough. So, now we're going to build an air factory. Air factories build aircraft. And you can build... You can build bombers, gunships, or fighters. Gunships are the best to use against smaller ships because they'll fly out and take them out for you. They will take some damage and you'll have to build more to replace them, but this is a good start. You can see what's happening here. I can also use my mouse wheel to adjust the zoom a little bit. Of course, we're getting peppered pretty good over here. Okay. I may be able to speed up my aircraft, make them more agile by building a control tower on one of my masts, so I'm going to do that. Let's see what the enemy is up to. Now to point out, these are heavy weapons platforms. Not only can you put factories on them... Oh good, the control tower is ready. So you'll notice that the gunships are moving a little faster now. But you can put heavy weapons platforms on there like so. Watch what I do here. For example, I can put a rocket launcher. I'm going to focus on building that. 
Now this game involves a lot of scoring an advantage over your enemy. If you have the ability to come up with something offensive before they do, then you have an advantage for a period of time until they come up with something to counter it. Like, for example, well, look at what he's doing now. He probably saw that I built a rocket launcher, so now he's building this, a Tesla coil. This is anti-rocket defense that will shoot down incoming missiles by jamming them. In fact, I'll show you what that looks like as soon as our rocket launcher is ready. See, watch that. Now look at the detail. Watch the barrels rotate. Boom, boom, boom. Now watch. Rockets are going up into the sky. Let's go over to our... Actually, it's not built yet. We may be able to punch through and do some damage. Okay, that buys us a little bit of time. I can double-click on a given part of their ship and target it. Maybe I can destroy it before they get it online. Maybe. Cross your fingers. Let's find out. Hmm. Was it already operational? Maybe it was. Let's launch another volley and see what happens. I'm gonna zoom in. Looks like it's hitting the shields. So this could be problematic. I may have to graduate to something else. So let's do that. So the rockets aren't really punching through that much. Nope. A little bit of damage, but not much. Let's unbuild our rocket launcher and move up to something bigger. This icon, the skull, gives us ultra weapons. And the ultra weapons, once you unlock them all, are the Death Star Launcher, which is a giant laser satellite, the Nuke Launcher, which is a giant nuclear missile, the Ultra Lisk, which gives you 30 builder drones so that you can build other units with great speed, a Kamikaze Signal, which turns all of the enemy aircraft against them, and then there's the broadsides. I like the broadside because it can't be defeated with a Tesla coil, and it'll punch through shields. In fact, I'm going to redirect all of my drones to build that because I've got enough. Look at all these gunships on patrol, so once that destroyer starts steaming out, these will be able to make short work of the uh, destroyer. In fact, let's zoom in a little bit and get a closer look. Oh yeah, you got some aerial defenses, but yeah, see, that didn't last long. So now this buys us time. Oh, looks like the SAM units are going after some of our gunships. I'm going to have to watch our supply of those and build more if I need to. But meanwhile, we're making good progress on our broadsides. And our shields are holding up. That's good. Now, if I want to speed up time, I can with these buttons here. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to speed things up a bit. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, we don't have quite as many gunships flying around, but enough to do the job. Okay, almost done here.
Okay, that's it. So, yeah, try and stop me now. We're cracking the shields pretty good. Here, target. Let's see if we can target the shield generators. Since I'm not using rockets, I don't care as much about the Tesla coil. Yeah, now we're making progress. Okay, let's go after that SAM site. Yeah, we're doing it. How are we doing? Oh, we're doing just fine. In fact, we could probably... Whoa. Yeah, I guess we punched through. So there it is. We've won the battle. And now our head drone is giving us an after-action report. And he says, That was no simulation. We've destroyed a Raptor Quest battlecruiser of the UAC military worth $50 billion. You are wanted for piracy. Signed, Appraisal Drone. So, that's how the story begins. I don't want to say any more. I don't want to give any undue spoilers. But this is the essential nature of the game. As time goes on, I may do some additional videos demonstrating other ships and other weapon systems in the skirmish mode so as not to spoil the plot. So there you have it, a first run of battle cruisers. So thank you very much for watching, and join me next time. Eric Pearson, signing off.